guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 25 of Delicious Party Pretty Cures. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I honestly don't remember what the heck's gonna happen today. Hmm. <laughs> Cucumbers? Like the mountains or a forest? Uh, camping! My glasses on. Oh, my God. So, we couldn't have an episode where Mary got his license. Mm. Hello, that's important. Run. Am I? Not? Oh, y'all saw that? I saw it too. I don't think it was a Tanuki. Maybe. <laughs> Well, this will be fun.
Better make s'mores. I mean, come on, you're at a campground, so make s'mores. Is that going to fit all of y'all? No, you need like, mm hmm. one of the 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 charcoals that's shaped like a square and then to put it in there and just go but Yep, you need a fire starter. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. And Amane would be here listening to it. <laughs> oh, I need that.
Yeah, it was nice. Oh God, okay, is it just gonna... Yeah. Now, my biggest thing is, okay, this robot. Is this robot just here for one episode and one episode only like a one-off type character villain? Or are we going to be a little consistent with this character, you know? Mary. Mary! <laughs> uh oh. Why I thought he was about to do the come <laughs> I mean, hey, because it is Toei, and they love to have other Easter eggs for their other shows, right? Right? Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me, I'm going to do this.
That's it. Yeah, but I feel like there's something of another reason on why he's doing it. Yep, to make it uber powerful, of course. And of course, gonna block that. Uh-uh. That means none of the normal attacks are going to flipping work. Just reminded me once again that I need to put batteries in that thing because I do want to hear her voice in the damn toy. And he just disappears like that, huh? My thing is, how did they get it? Like, please at least explain that.
right, she's not gonna take a picture of it. Now, if they don't talk about this in the last episode when they're adults, bruh. <laughs> bruh. <laughs> Everything Mary said in this episode would be for nothing. I mean, oof. But, you know, of course, it, it does make me wonder how they're going to all look when they're older and such and seeing their, you know, next stage or next chapter in their lives. But, I mean, for, you know, this episode, to see a new villain, I'm not mad at it. I like it. The robot is different, interesting. It, it just reminds me of how, like, okay, when I started reacting to Pretty Hair and I was watching, um, Kitty Kitty Pretty Hair All the Mode and the, the one running joke for me that most of my subscribers who did come into my journey with Kitty Kitty Pretty Girl Mode was, when in the world are they going to get in the cake? And it took such a long time for, like, the mini villains of Kitty Kitty to get into the damn cake where when Picario came in. And I was like, okay, yes, yes, today's the day. And then boom. No, it didn't happen. It didn't happen until, like, what, two episodes later from that? And I was like, okay. I'm glad it, ha it finally happened, but oof. But yeah, I think the new robot as villain, he kind of gives me feels to Lulu. L no. Yeah, I'm Lulu and Lulu. Lulu. Lulu from Hagato. Except, you know, Lulu was an android as human, so. <laughs> and plus, she's a pretty hero. Now. Well, a former villain as pretty here so yeah i mean i think they will probably have like some things in common i think if we ever really did like uh a pretty cure series where it had the villains talking to other villains of the series i think that would be really interesting but i don't think that's gonna happen Come in, come in. Ain't one with peppers. I mean, okay, see, here's my thing. All right, I'm not a big pepper fan either. I mean, well, no, hold on. It depends on what I have it with. Like, if it's with fajitas, I have no problem with it. I will eat that ish up. But I remember, like, in middle school, um, not middle school, well, elementary school slash middle school, um, there was this girl I knew. And I, I've told this story before, but in, like, a different video um, for a different series. <laughs> but I, I always was like, is that good? And I, still to this day, I've never tried it. So I knew this one girl. Um, she and I were really good friends and stuff. And so I remember one time, I think when we, I finally had, like, um, a class together where we were, like, in the same class for, like, a whole freaking year and such. We were eating lunch and stuff, and she had um, sliced bell peppers, bell pepper slices, and some ranch. And I'm thinking, like, okay, well, because, you know, like, any vegetable with ranch, of course, that's good. But because I'm not a big bell pepper gal, <laughs> I'm like, is, is that really good? But she loved it. She loved the crap out of it. I think because, you know, some people that heatness of the pepper plus the the coldness of the ranch of course that is like a really interesting combo and such that's like you know sweet and salty savory and ish whatever the good things that you want are like you know certain food combos like uh, um okay eggs and ketchup which i still like my dad was crazy with like eggs and ketchup me i'm a girl with hash browns and ketchup because that's right and i love that ish um i think the one other weird kind of thing food i had when i was a kid i don't know if everybody did this i knew one of my other girlfriends did this <laughs> and i busted out laughing when she told me this like it would be either like macaroni and cheese and barbecue sauce which is like <laughs> the weirdest combo but something about it just hit as kids and that I think if I ever tried that again as an adult, I was like, no, what the hell was I thinking? But yeah, <laughs> the weird food covers. You never know what is going to be good. Like, <laughs> you just never know. I mean, like, that's like the one time where, like, uh, one of my um, mentors in, during my summer uh, 
summer camp as play thing I did between in my year of middle school. She literally told me try peanut butter and jelly, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with pretzels inside. And that is like the best combo. And one day I tried it and it was the best freaking thing ever. Because I mean, you get your like, okay, you get the crunch from the pretzels and then the sweet and salty from, you know, the jelly and not only the pretzels, but also the peanut butter. And it just, it freaking hit. So if you ever want something all together, and if you're craving a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, get some peanut butter and jelly on some bread, and then put, like, um, it could be Walmart pretzels or any other type of, like, mini pretzels. Put that ish on there, and enjoy. It's so flipping good. I'm sorry. Like, oh my god. And I haven't had one in years. <laughs> It's 2 o'clock in the morning and I'm kind of hungry. But yeah, I really enjoyed this episode. I thought the camping thing was sweet. It gave me hella feels to lay back camp and how um, I really cannot wait to see that movie for it, which I'm guessing the movie is going to be the true ending for the series because, you know, lay back camp is such a very sweet comfort show for I think a lot of people and I I love that show near and dear to my freaking heart even though once again it's not gonna make me go camping as I've said once before with that laid back camp series if you know you know <laughs> but I mean yeah I thought it was sweet comforting I mean you know once again if if one of my girlfriends or my guy friends is like hey Deja let's go camping I'd be like hey we can camp in the house and if you want a barbecue we can barbecue on in the porch and such we ain't doing that. <laughs> I'm not going out in the wilderness without no running toilet and water it is just so you can have this moment. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 25 of Delicious Party Pretty Cure. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Sunday or Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, whatever, for episode 26. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.